Hey everyone, it's Louis. Today we're really excited to have Cyberlink number 11. Cyberlinks is the place where we discuss about the meaningful updates about the Xbox ecosystem. That's where we discuss about product updates, ecosystem updates, and we really look at this from a pragmatic viewpoint. So it's not just the good, but also the bad. The stuff we can improve, you know, of course, the ecosystem that we're building is not going to be the best from day one. But we believe that um, building a gaming ecosystem backed by players and listening to feedbacks on a regular basis can only make us uh, stronger. Anyway, Cyberlink 11, exciting updates. We have 100,000 XBG tokens that will be drops. We uh, drop. We have a new setup, new mic, new camera. Hopefully, uh, it's, it gets uh, the quality of it uh, gets much better. You'll see we have some new visuals. Not teasing this too much. Yes, there will be a new website. Yes, there is a, a new app that is looking way, way cooler than uh, it used to. Uh, big kudos to Polius, by the way. And we have a new image of myself, which definitely uh, looks uh, way sexier than uh, me in real life. Almost feels like a scam at this stage. Um, but anyway, let's uh, deep dive into the focus for this cyber link. Xbox challenge, this is how we drop the 100,000 XBG tokens. Individual rewards, collective rewards, this is the how. We're building up the Xbox challenge, then we have the product updates. Then the fireplace, which is a new concept for the community, then question of the week. So without any further ado, what is the Xbox challenge? Well, our key objective at the moment, especially leading up to the token launch, is how can we raise the awareness around Xbox? It's something you, you don't know everything that's happening behind the scene, but we've teased that quite a bit. And yes, the, the, the best esports teams in the world will join the ecosystem. We are preparing everything behind the scene. And the goal is to make sure that um, Whenever we make those announcements, people know about Xbox. And uh, what is this challenge in uh, in a nutshell? Uh, before the what, I also want to give a thank you to Make It Real, Arakin, and Jonas. Both of those are well, all of those are community members, and we want to thank them because they've been, I would say, the engineers behind this challenge. So they gave us the concept, they gave us the, the strategy. We, of course, tweaked things um, a tiny bit, but a big kudos to them. Uh, I, I take this opportunity to also say, if you have ideas, things that can add value to the ecosystem, please do so. Uh, please do give us those uh, suggestions. We are trying our best to be as close as possible to all of you. So if you're watching this video, you're in this. If you have uh, any suggestions, we are here uh, to implement them. And um, the Xbox challenge is just uh, a testament of this. But the challenge revolves around creating content on one specific platform, which is the uh, Twitter slash X uh, platform. And the goal is to compete through a leaderboard on who makes the and who creates the most engagement around Xbox. And for this, we track two hashtags, which is the XBG and the Xbox hashtag. And the way it works is by creating content, you earn points on a daily basis. And um, at the end of a challenge, which will last for two months, um, whoever gets on the top 50 or top 75 will earn rewards in forms of XBG tokens. So the challenge starts in on the 1st of October. And uh, one caveat, however, is that you need to have 500 followers to be able to participate uh, in order for us to pick up the data. So I think what makes the, the most sense is um, I show you uh, concretely how it uh, looks like. So you have an idea of um, what's, um, what's coming up. But uh, this will be on our website. This is just a, a temporary page. But you see here, 
you have a leaderboard, you have uh, ranks, you have um, usernames, you also have the assigned rewards for, for those persons. And uh, how you get on this leaderboard, uh, if you're within the community, you might recognize a lot of faces. We started this test challenge, you also see my account. Um, but basically by posting content about Xbox with the hashtag XBG and Xbox, you will get on this leaderboard if you have more than 500 followers. And the goal is that within the next two months, we create this uh, sprints of content on the uh, Twitter slash X platform so that we achieve our goal to raise awareness. So now let's discuss the rewards. How exactly are we locating the 100,000 XBG tokens? Well, we have two things. We have individual rewards and we have collective rewards. So the 100,000 XBG tokens will only get allocated if we hit some collective goals, which I will uh, discuss just after. But now let's discuss the guaranteed rewards, which is uh, 33,000 XBG tokens. Another 66,000 XBG tokens will get unlocked if we achieve uh, collective goals. But you see here the, the table, um, it's basically a top 50 that gets rewarded if we don't achieve collective goals. And you see here the exact amounts in XBG tokens that will be dropped to the top one, top two, top three, etc. So that's about 660 uh, XBG tokens that will be dropped on average, uh, which we believe is a, is a pretty hefty amount of, of tokens for creating content on the, on the X platform. Where it gets interesting is we wanted to make sure that we all win together and that, uh, you know, for us, our objective is to not spend too much tokens uh, and have a good ratio between the impact that this does vs the expense. Because yes, we do view this as an expense for, for the company. But what we have in store is a collective reward. And how this works is we have an additional 66,000 XPG tokens that will be rewarded to up to the top 75 people. Uh, additional to the guaranteed individual reward. Hopefully what I'm saying here makes sense. And how this is computed is based on a couple of factors. So we have the, um, the reach and the active participants. So for example, if the reach on the X platform is um, above 20 million in total, you, we unlock 20% of the collective rewards. And if we get um, 2,000 uh, participants, we unlock 50% of the collective rewards. And we do believe that those rewards are achievable. Those collective goals are achievable. And you see here what we unlock. So for example, if the rewards uh, get, uh, well, uh, the collective rewards get 20% unlocked. This amounts to an extra 264 tokens for each player. Um, you know, same logic uh, throughout. So if that was not clear, or if uh, this lacks uh, clarity, or if you need further information, you can join our Discord. In our community and our uh, moderators and our, every core team members will be happy to further explain how this works. One thing to note is this starts on the 1st of October. This lasts for a period of two months. You need 500 followers on the X slash Twitter platform to be eligible. And yeah, uh, it's going to be a pretty fun event. Hopefully you guys are as excited as we are for this. Now product updates. So Xbox.gg is going offline. No, it's, it's, uh, it's only for the uh, for the better and uh, for this quite excited we have been teasing this for quite some time um, what we had released was an alpha version of the app I think it was quite buggy delivery was not super good um, and when I said at the beginning of the cyberlink that this is we're well, looking at the bad and the things to improve I think it's definitely something that we had to improve so this time around, we are taking a much um, 
granular approach to the release of the app. So there is the QA within the team that we're finishing at the moment. Then there is the QA with the com within the community. So QA is quality assurance. We just want to make sure everything works as expected. Um, so and to put full focus on the app, we are putting Expo.gg offline until the big app update. Here we're saying coming in October, we want to take some buffer. Uh, where we stand at the moment is we are finalizing the QA within the team. We are confident that by the end of the month, it will go to the community. And then based on how this is going, it will go to the wider public. And this will be the beta of the app. Um, I can actually mention what's going to be on this app. I'm not sure if I was meant to do uh, or to say it, but uh, you'll have the avatar. Actually, what you see here, this is the avatar in a very blurred version. I've seen it, looks amazing. Uh, really, really looks amazing. Uh, kudos for this uh, to the entire design team. Uh, it's the first of many because many avatars are coming up for all the different communities. When we say that eSports teams are coming, that means that like every like there will be a new interface for the eSports teams, there will be a new avatar for them, there will be new wearables, etc. And that, that, is, um, that is quite exciting. But yes, there will be a, a, an avatar, an inventory, so you'll be able to manage your avatar to earn collectibles via the app. So there will be the gaming quest, social quest. Uh, we're adding new quests. So you have image submission quest, manual uh, text submission, new social quest, obviously new gaming quest. For the gaming quest, there will be a bigger update coming up after that will bring 10x, uh, 10 times more games than we support at the moment. It's a different architecture, so it takes a bit more time, but still exciting quite, uh, well, nonetheless. And um, when you complete the quest, you'll be able to get a wearable, so to get an item for your avatar. And uh, your avatar is pretty much going to be your identity on the app, and, and that is that is quite insane. Um, we obviously have other things, like the leaderboard, there will be a Discord bot, um, so all of this is coming in, in due course. There will be events as well, something I forgot, but uh, you'll see what events are. I think you'll, I mean, you'll here are going to, to like it. We are eSports fans, uh, not for nothing. I'm, I'm just leaving this uh, here. But a lot of work has gone into this app. It's definitely has taken a lot of time for the whole team. It's not just this, it's also building the different interface for the eSports teams. And again, it's hard to it's hard to say which team yet because we literally can't. We have NDAs, we have contracts where we agree on specific um, go for the marketing. And I gotta say, personally, this is quite frustrating to not be able to share the ex excitement. Hopefully you see in my voice that we are getting more and more excited about this because things are coming alive and it's, it's, it's just amazing to onboard hundreds of thousands of fans, millions of fans into the space. What I can say actually as a, as a big hint is if we look at the teams that we've signed today, the core fans, if we look at the total number of those teams, it's about 3 million. It's, uh, I guess, enough to tell you that, yes, we're onboarding big folks into the space, into our ecosystem that are using our technology. This is not just, uh, and, and by the way, these are organic partnerships. These are not something that we pay for, which means that they are using the infrastructure, they are bringing us users. It's a massive growth vehicle for us. Anyway, enough uh, enough said on this. Point three is there will be rewards. There will be a hefty amount of rewards for people that use the app. And in fact, help us build the best app out there. 
help us onboard new communities and there will be a, an entire uh, re reward program for this. Because once the app goes out, then the next up the line is scaling it and growth, which is yet an exciting milestone for us. Now we move on to Fireplace. So as I said, it's a new concept. And what this is, it's a Twitter space that will be hosted every Thursday at 7 p.m. CEST, so the uh, European time zone. And it's going to be a place where the Prometheus community and the wider Expo community will be able to voice their opinion about our ecosystem. So we have an amazing person in the French community called Cryptofield that does, uh, does um, Twitter spaces and we want to have those in English. You'll have dedicated core team members that will be here to answer questions. But the topics that we'll be able to, well, it's a, it's a free space, it's a free speech after all, but we believe that the discussions could be around innovations around the project, product updates, just uh, product ideas, governance proposals, investment opportunities uh, for the launchpad, and you will be able to ask questions to dedicated core team members. As I had said, I'm only the voice of the team. Yes, I'm putting in quite some work into Xbox, but obviously in the investments, you have Sam, in the design, you have Polius, um, Gauthier is, is helping tremendously on many fronts, etc. And it will be yeah, the place after the cyber link to debrief, discuss. I will try and be there in, uh, in most sessions. Um, I might not be there all the time, but will do my best regardless. And um, that's starting next Thursday. So Thursday, the 21st of September, this is starting. Next is community, question, community questions. We um, don't have a question for this week, actually, but we wanted to take this moment to just remind all of you to ask your questions. Um, you can directly put the questions in the YouTube section or directly on Discord. What we will do from now on is you will be able to win a reward um, either in XBG tokens or in collectibles, you know, app. like we will decide this on a, a discretionary basis. But if your question gets picked, you will win something. And um, it's key again, we want to foster transparency we want to make sure every question in the ecosystem is, is getting answered. And um, yeah, we will leave this, um, uh, this cyberlink on this slide to summarize a bit what uh, to look forward to, which is the app public beta. As I said, we share the, the status. This is in, in final quality assurance with the core team at the moment. It will then go in, in community uh, QA. Uh, if you want to participate, you can raise your voice in the Discord on, um, well, on our Discord community. We also have the Xbox Challenge, which uh, starts in about 10 days, give or take. And uh, this is the start of the Epoch 2 rewards. This is what's happening in the very short term. Obviously, in the short term, as in next two, three, four weeks. Obviously, the most exciting thing is going to be the partnerships with the esports teams. I feel very old when I just say this again and again, but yes, um, this is, uh, you know, there is no cap here where our, um, the excitement, I think, is uh, is something you can, you can grasp. And then the token launch. Um, token launch is, is really something we look forward to. They will be, we will give, give uh, specific metrics for um, us to be comfortable to launch the token. We actually have those internally. So we have a, a, a checklist of things that we want to, uh, to do, which includes number of users on the app, which includes a bit of market conditions still, which includes the interest we have on um, the XBG token, which also includes the attraction we have on social media. But that is it for me. I hope that you liked this uh, cyberlink. Again, to support us, you can like this uh, video. 
You can also give a comment, uh, ask your questions about the Xbox ecosystem, and we will do our best to, an to answer at, at all times. So thank you everyone for watching this. Every views mean uh, a lot to us. And yeah, see you next time.